Good evening, I'm Terry McFadden. There's been talk of sprucing up city center park in downtown Benton Harbor, and now residents have a better idea of what things will look like. Tonight, a team of researchers unveiled those plans at the city's library. Maria Catanzarite got a peek at the blueprints, and Maria, uh, folks seem pretty enthusiastic about the ideas. And they are, Terry. What was kind of neat is that you had the blueprints taped to the meeting room walls, and people voiced their support not in the form of comment cards or drawn out dialogue. So instead, folks jotted their thoughts down on post it notes, then put them on the pictures. And I was able to talk to a man born and raised in Benton Harbor, and he's all for one plan in particular because he thinks it'll set the city sailing in the right direction. Parking space is a plenty at City Center Park. This is more of a traditional. Um, but Benton Harbor leaders said to themselves, This is a great opportunity to apply for us to engage the community in a vision for Dwight P. Mitchell City Center Park. A vision in motion now thanks to Michigan State and the Michigan Municipal League. Benton Harbor, it's, it's, it's a very unique project because it's right in the center of town. It has all sorts of really good things happening around it. And more good things could be on the way. We have a splash and skate opportunity for kids or adults uh, and um, places to sit and relax in the shade. All those amenities appealing to Jerry Edwards. If you got a family just want to sit, take a break. Born and raised in Benton Harbor. Playground, they have to, won't have to worry about them jumping in the pool. They can actually take a break. The kids can go play because, you know, kids don't take breaks. Right now, two alternatives are on the table. One's called the People's Park. More on the low-key side. Though the second plan, Jerry's pick, like said, the sales is what really adds a different dimension. Described as a traditional park, though to Edwards, the sales say something about the city. It just adds a kind of an imagination to it. Uh, it, it kind of gives people the impression that the city is really moving forward. And to take a look at all the blueprints for City Center Park, we're going to post those on our website, WNDU.com, and just click on the story. All right, so when could we see these changes coming to City Center Park? So it's kind of been described to me that this is the planning year for everything. Next year is when you can kind of see some of these things being executed, though. It's still kind of up in the air. They're still trying to iron out some of the things, but the city leaders are pretty confident that something's going to take the space of all those parking spaces and that concrete lot. All right, Maria, thanks a lot.